you get the cybersecurity job then if you can't get any experience? Jerry, there's so many unfilled positions. What kind of madness are we talking about here where they're not hiring anyone? If you're getting in the industry, you've definitely encountered this. There is a catch-22 in cybersecurity that you can't get into it without experience, but you can't get experience unless you're into it, right? Well, I'm gonna break down this misconception and give you tips and tricks on how you can bust open this catch-22. I'm gonna do it right now. I want you to gain real cybersecurity experience, okay? So in your resume, you'll be able to document how you have experience, and when you're in the interview, you'll be able to communicate confidently that experience and be able to get the job. It's going to be awesome. How can we get experience, Sherry? Well, really quick. There was so much content in this original video that I had to split it up into two videos. One is around how to get experience without a job in cybersecurity, and one is how to get an entry-level job in cybersecurity. There was so much content, it was amazing. So be sure to check out this video and this video to get the entire picture. Back to the show. A couple options right off the rip. First of all, is by completing online courses, okay? There are tons and tons of free courses and certificates online that you can take to help you learn more different aspects of cybersecurity, right? If you wanna go into the hacking and red team side, or if you wanna go into the SOC analyst side or the GRC side, there are a lot of options. Many of the courses provide hands-on lab experience, okay? So you can really get your hands dirty, you know, get that muscle memory on the keyboard and really understand what you're talking about. Because at the end of the day, the whole point of all of this training and experience isn't just to fill out your resume and look good on paper. It's for you to be able to deliver the knowledge and deliver the experience that you have accumulated to an organization to help them reduce cyber risk. Now, what are some platforms that you can use, okay? There's a couple, World of Haiku, Great one for very entry level, learn some Linux, learn some pen testing. There's Threat Gen Red versus Blue. This is two video games that you can use to learn. Again, links below. There are courses and kind of platforms that allow you to test your skills and be educated at the same time. Hack the box, try hack me. Range Force if you're on the defensive side. Miter Attack IQ Academy has free education learning paths. There are tons and tons of free cyber resources out there. You can go to simplycyber.io and go to the resources page. I've accumulated and curated tons of free resources out there. One thing that I really want to point out is that you shouldn't have to pay anything to get a lot of free, great education, a lot of great cybersecurity knowledge, hands-on labs. You can do it absolutely for free. Now, what I will tell you is there are a lot of very affordable options in the industry as well. And what you're paying for there is you're paying for curation of knowledge, you're paying for alignment of the knowledge in a specific order, IT Pro by ACI Learning. Now this platform is a learning platform and you can do amazing things on this platform. They have courses across many different dimensions. So regardless of what you wanna do, if you wanna do cloud, they have AWS and Google Compute. If you wanted to do um, Security Plus, A Plus, they have the education there, as well as some programming like Python, uh, automation. Uh, a lot of you know governance, risk, compliance. Also, and this is one thing that I want to mention about ACI Learning's uh, IT Pro, they actually have practice tests too. So you can actually test your knowledge base to ensure that you understand what you're learning. And it's tests like the Security Plus practice test, the A Plus practice test, CISSP practice test, right? So you're actually taking legitimate practice tests of industry certifications that you're probably going to want to seek out earlier than later. So by using something like IT Pro by ACI Learning, you can actually test yourself and get educated on it. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful platform. I'm actually affiliated with them. If you want 30% off, you can use the coupon code SimplyCyber30 and you'll get 30% off um, your first month or your first year uh, using the platform. It's, it's wonderful. TCM Security, Cyber Mentor, great, great platform. I'll drop a link uh, below. I'm probably showing some uh, footage right now of it. They have a great program and all their courses are $29.99. So very, very affordable. You can get a lot of the knowledge for free that are taught in those courses, but now it becomes incumbent upon you to go scour the internet and find all these different, you know, separate pieces of information, combine them together, and then make the same course curriculum. So for 30 bucks, you get, you know, high-end talent teaching you in a very formulaic way, the education. The GRC Analyst Masterclass from the Simply Cyber School that I developed, also $29.99. Again, you can get a lot of the information in that course, but you'll have to put in the time, effort, and energy to be able to go pull it 
piece it together and maybe you know put together a patchwork of what the education is in that space. Another opportunity is you can volunteer. Now, I, I do want to point out you should be learning and you know, doing home labs and getting coursework and education and, and really learning the craft of both IT and information security. But that is going to give you the knowledge. This part is going to give you the applied skill. Now you can volunteer for starters, okay? Many organizations, especially smaller businesses or nonprofits are perfect, like a church, are in dire need of volunteers, especially with cybersecurity skills. They don't really know. Many of them might not even have IT staff, okay? In most cases, you can definitely get hands-on experience by volunteering and say, hey, I'd love to help you configure your email to be more secure, or I'd love to look at your physical security of your site, or help check that your organization, you know, the technology, like I could do a scan of your external network and make sure that you're not exposed to the internet. There's a million different ways to do it. By getting them to allow you to volunteer your time and services, you're able to capture that as actual experience. This will show that you volunteered your time, right? So you're a good person and you can then immediately use what you learned and implement it to better yourself professionally and document it on your resume. This can go alongside working a full-time job, right? You can volunteer on the weekends and the evenings, make it work for your schedule, but make it work. It'll make for an excellent story, I might add, during the interview where you got some of this experience. It shows that you take initiative. It shows that you're proactive. And I've got to tell you, as someone who has hired many people in cybersecurity, initiative and proactivity is a skill that I seek out because it means that I can assign you some type of high level goal. And I know that you'll take the initiative to go uh, knock it out of the park. Management will definitely be overjoyed with the fact that you started, managed, and grew a cybersecurity initiative or program from the ground up by yourself. Another opportunity is participating in online communities, okay? Networking is absolutely critically important to your success. Now, there's a bunch of different communities, so don't worry if you're like, where am I going to find one? Okay, Black Hills Information Security and Anti-Siphon, which is the training arm under Black Hills, they are absolutely wonderful. There is a Discord server. I'll drop a link to all these uh, Discord servers in the description below. Go check it out. They are unbelievably supportive, wonderful organization. There is the Simply Cyber. That's my Discord server. Another great, uh, inclusive, supportive group. There are podcasts out there that you can listen to. CISO series is one. The SANS Internet Stormcast is another. There's cybersecurity Reddit forums. Get involved, get engaged. LinkedIn has many, many different groups that you can affiliate with. You can also just comment in LinkedIn and engage with other people. One thing that I need to point out, do not get leery or overwhelmed by imposter syndrome. Oh, I don't really know enough. I don't want to make a fool of myself. I can't really add value to this conversation. Push that all to the side. There is a lot in the industry to know and not everybody knows everything. And most people are interested in learning and helping others learn. So get involved, get engaged, be you know someone who is contributing and being a receptive person. And I guarantee you, you're going to love it. Another way to get education is participating in Capture the Flag or CTF events. You may have heard of this before. Usually at cybersecurity conferences, there's always a CTF going on. Also sometimes at the holidays, like Try Hack Me has Advent of Cyber, SANS puts together KringleCon. You can find CTFs. It is a competitive challenge where you're you know, doing different puzzles within cybersecurity context to uncover flag and you get points for those flags. The cool thing is while you are competing with everybody else, you're also networking because no one's really hyper aggressive about the competition. Everybody's having fun. It's a great networking opportunity and it's a great way to test and push yourself to see all this knowledge you're accumulating from all these different resources. Can you actually apply it? And when you encounter a challenge that you can't do, it'll inspire you to say, hey, this is an area I need to learn more about. Let me go off and do that. Now, another way to get education and experience is by building a home lab, which is what you might bring in after doing a CTF and there's a puzzle you couldn't do. Maybe you set it up on a home lab. There's many, many different ways to do home labs. Uh, you can do it virtually uh, with like VirtualBox and uh, ISO images. That does put a strain on your computer resources. 
Sometimes you can do it up in AWS. There will be some costs associated with home labs. I personally have a Raspberry Pi that I like to use for different labs. Uh, I don't leave it uh, persistent. So after I finish a lab, I'll wipe the Raspberry Pi and set it up for my next lab, whenever that is. I've got a link in the description below for what my Raspberry Pi kit looks like. Um, it's about, you know, say 80 bucks if you can get a Raspberry Pi right now, all in to get up and running and have that available to you for a home lab. You can participate in an internship to get experience. Now this one's a little tougher because internships are difficult to find. I would advise you to not look like Google wears an internship, but ask around. A lot of times businesses, kind of like with the volunteer opportunities, businesses will set up internships if they know that they have a talent available that wants to do the work and they have the capability to take on that work. You typically will get paid for the internship simply because employers would like to pay people who are doing work on them because it makes it legally much more cleaner. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you got value out of it. We are talking about how you got the cybersecurity job experience without having the job yet. We've talked about volunteering, internships, education, and hands-on lab skills, networking within the community, all wonderful ways that you're gonna be able to beef up your resume, get those interviews, and ultimately crush it when you get the cybersecurity job. So I hope you got value out of this. Absolutely check out the other videos on the channel. I wanna specifically call out one that I just did that kind of partners with this video called Do Entry Level Cybersecurity Jobs Even Exist? Spoiler alert, they do. And I show you in that video how you can find them. Go check that video out. It should pop up right in a second here. Thanks so much. And until next time, stay secure. Hey.